All right. We're going to quick wrap up. So as a refresher, uh, the admission requirements for MSITL are, are pretty much the same as MSIT. So if, and if you're already certified in any of these certifications, again, you can get advanced standing as well as for MSIT as MSITL. And the, the program applicants are the same. Um, those requirements uh, do hold true. And I'm not going to beleaguer the conversation. We're going to kind of go through them quickly. Of course, if you have questions again at the end, we'd be more than happy to answer those. Now, some other key highlights that we'd like to point out. So Walsh is a community college. So we have a lot of students who don't stay on campus. Um, you know, we don't have traditional dorms. Um, so students who are looking to, um, you know, they work potentially full time, they commute, they want to connect remotely or they want to do online. We're a good fit. Some people are concerned with, hey, you know what? How do we get a, more of a typical, um, I'll say, college experience? What are the benefits to Walsh? What are some of the differences? And so with that in mind, I'd like to highlight one particular item, which is lifetime career services. So once you become a Walsh alum, you have access to our career services department for a lifetime. So what does that mean? We, I've seen a number of students over the years who have previously finished a degree. They go out, they have a career going. You know, I, I can say, especially right now, you know, we have COVID-19 going and, and there's a lot of, I'll say, instability. Um, you know, people are, are looking for new jobs in some cases or having to look for new jobs. Um, career services, we connect with uh, potential employers that come to Walsh a lot. They're looking for the caliber of students that are coming through our institution. Um, so at any point, you can come back, you can use the Walsh job boards. One of the other things is, hey, I want to spruce up my resume. I'd like to polish back up my, my interviewing skills. Career Services is here to help you do that. I've worked with different universities and colleges. I would say Walsh's Career Services has a much larger impact than most others. So I would say if you're looking for, you know, that transition from degree to career is really important. Um, also, ITDS partners with Career Services, and we actually, you know, co-host events to help connect students to potential employers. These are just some of the examples of the career services at Walsh and how it's different and how it's more impactful. Another particular item that we have as well is the Walsh Information Technology Student Association, also known as ITSA, right? We love, we love acronyms in IT, right? So with that in mind, so this gives you some additional opportunities. We have uh, potential employers do events. They reach out to ITSA. We have guest speakers come in. As I mentioned, we, we pair with career services. We have special events, you know, things that may not necessarily, so, you know, we've had things like um, assembling a 3D printer, learning to print, um, you know, you know, there's discussions of, of other items as far as training that students are looking for. The interesting thing here is I would call out the students drive what's offered, not the faculty. So this is actually student led. Uh, so in it, in it offers some great opportunities as well. If you're concerned about the location and, and you know, you want to know where we're at, how we're connected. So we are located, our primary campus is located in Troy. We have um, satellite campuses at a number of community colleges. Uh, and so we are very close to Detroit proper. Um, Troy is a thriving business center. It has a number of automotive and financial sectors with corporate and global headquarters here. So we have, I'll say some, I'll say we have some interesting connections and interesting employers reach out to us looking for mature graduates to help staff their organizations. Um, we also are, you know, located centrally to the suburbs. We do have some connections with GVSC, formerly known as TARDAC. We've done research with them, um, as well as um, different groups such as like Automation Alley, et cetera. So um, we have, a, I'll say we kind of have our tendrils in multiple places, but if you're concerned about what are the employers coming into us, so it is, you know, Greater Detroit, uh, in Southeast Michigan are those that are reaching out to us looking for graduates. Here's some other information to consider about Walsh that's maybe a little different than what you're used to. So instead of uh, trimesters or three semesters, we actually have four 11 week semesters. So that actually reduces your time to degree completion. So every 
So every year you're getting an additional semester in if you so choose to leverage that. One of the other things that we do is we have roughly a, a max class size of about 25. So you're not in giant lecture halls with you know 200 people and, and you have limited access uh, to a, an instructor or a professor. Um, with the smaller class size, you get more attention, you get more opportunity to interact with the subject matter experts that are teaching the classes and helping you build skills. Uh, at the time of recording here, our cost per credit hour here is $850. Um, and that is the 2020 and 2021 tuition rate. From a books and supplies perspective, obviously this is gonna vary by course. I'll say within IT, we try to keep the number of books smaller. And a lot of these are associated not as traditional textbooks. These are actually either certification guides or skill guides that we leverage, all right? One of the other big pluses that I don't know that everybody understands is that in some institutions of higher ed, you actually have to pay for tutors or you have to pay for access to labs. Um, you get tutoring and you get open labs are available for free. And that is if you need extra assistance or you would like extra assistance. So um, those are definitely, I would say, some good pluses that Walsh brings to the table without you know, adding in additional costs for you. So let's recap why you should consider or why you might wanna consider uh, one of Walsh's IT programs. So first up, real world training, okay? So we are about aligning you and getting you ready for your career. Um, we have received a top 20. So we were actually ranked number two of online masters in information technology. We we're also awarded a top or best honor in cybersecurity as well as a best online masters in network security. Uh, the faculty here, are working professionals. Uh, definitely the adjuncts are still, those of us who are full-time faculty, we are continuing to do um, you know, research or we are continuing to do contracting. I myself hold uh, a license with the state of Michigan for four investigations. Um, so I continue to do that and contract out to stay fresh. Uh, additionally, your, the courses are flexible. So you can take them entirely online or, you know, some students are like, I don't like online by itself. I, some courses, yes, some courses, no. If that's your perspective and you're saying, hey, wait, uh, you know, I sometimes I wanna interact directly with a professor. I wanna get some questions and I wanna have that, you know, face-to-face -face so as to speak, we can, we can do that. We do remote, so much like we're doing this webinar now. Um, obviously within courses, it's slightly different in that, you know, as an instructor, uh, you would see us on a camera, we would do our lecture, or we would take you through the exercises, and then you could respond back real time, okay? So that would be a synchronous communication online, but at the same time, even if you're not in Detroit, you can be in Sault Ste. Marie, or you can be in Tampa, Florida, and you can still take these classes, right? We have a cyber lab, as I mentioned in the previous slide, that is available to you online. So we actually have the ability for you to log on and get into that cyber lab remotely through a browser, or you can access it directly on site. We focus on tradecraft, in particular technology tradecraft. So we combine academic rigor with hands-on skills, okay? So this is where we feel we are very different than what you're seeing out there in the vast majority of the cybersecurity uh, courses and programs. And then even within our ITL, which is focused on leadership, we are teaching leadership in different ways uh, and, and through face-to-face, -face, be that via Zoom or in a classroom, exercises that help you grow into a leadership uh, approach and mindset, right? We have early, so easy admission, not early, but easier admission requirements, and we have no GMAT, or so GMAT, sorry, I say GMAT sometimes, but GMAT or GRE, not required. Why complicate the process? Again, lifetime career services, and you have access to a student association if you so choose to, to utilize that. And we are located in Southeast Michigan, so greater Detroit. So we are, you know, we have a number of different industries here that are looking for people. Um, many of them have global ties, 